there is uh, a very fierce dog in front of you. Later. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another video. So today we will talk about 7.1 which is endocrine system and we'll talk about hormones. Uh, so first thing first, you have to understand the labelings and where the uh, glands are located. Okay, so in our syllabus, very simple. These are only things that you need to remember. Okay, so we go with the labeling first then we'll talk about the hormones. Yeah, first thing first we have Pituitary gland, which is below the cerebrum, which is just right below the brain. Okay, pituitary gland. Yeah. Okay. Next, we have thyroid gland, which is on the front of the trachea on the neck. Okay, thyroid gland. Yeah. Uh, and then we have adrenal gland. Adrenal gland, which is right on top of the kidney. Pancreas. We have like a piece of leaf okay looks like a piece of leaf that's how we used to remember in in form 2 when you learn about your digestive system pancreas okay then we have testes for men and ovary for women okay very simple only lah. you go through a few times then you can remember already so uh, pituitary thyroid gland adrenal gland the first three comes with the word gland and then followed by pancreas testes ovary without uh, the word gland okay Okay, right. Next, uh, let's talk about the hormones and the function. Yeah. Okay. So pituitary gland is also what we call a master gland, or I should say, like a you know we say tai lo a tai lo, like a big boss. Yeah, master gland. It it is small in size, but it it is huge in responsibility. Although it's very little, tiny one, but basically it takes care of like everyone else. That's the big boss. Like if you ask call someone as your big boss means the person has to take care of you. Okay, so big boss, two hormones here. Generally, we have ADH, antidiuretic hormone, which is to control quantity of water reabsorption by the kidney. Uh, your kidney will reabsorb water when your body is lack of water. Okay, uh, that means do not allow you to release so much of urine. So it will keep back. Okay, it will control your Okay, antidiuretic hormone control water reabsorption. Growth hormone, that's to obviously to stimulate growth, okay, for children, but I will just remember as growth. And at the meantime, also uh, to maintain uh, health, healthy body, muscles, uh, bone mass, uh, overall uh, as, as growth. Uh, huh? So two is under the same gland, pituitary gland, or sometimes we call it as master gland. Okay, right. Next one, shall we? Thyroid gland on the neck. Yeah, thyroxine. Please remember the hormones. Very important, which is to control the rate of metabolism. Uh, it's like your engine. Uh, how fast you as a car can race or can move. That that's like your engine. Some people have high, like very uh, powerful engine, uh, which takes up a lot of petrol. You know, some cars are very powerful, but it takes up a lot of petrol. And some cars are like hybrid. They are fuel saving. So different people, different metabolism. Okay. So also control uh, physical and mental development in children. Yeah. Adrenal gland, adrenaline. So adrenal gland or adrenaline is for emergency. Okay, so this hormone prepares you for a lot of things. For example, if suddenly there is a very fierce dog in front of you. So uh, there's a few, few things you can choose to do. Number one, either you zhao low, you run away, or you fight the dog. Well, we call that as fight or flight. Yeah, Fight means you fight, flight means you run away. Okay, so anyhow, both fight or flight requires this to happen. Your engine suddenly have to be very fast, oh? increase your engine. Oh? Number two, increase your heartbeat oh? so that your heartbeat faster can provide more oxygen, more nutrients to your muscles and your whole body. Glucose level also increase. Oh? Glucose is important for muscles to function and gives you energy. 
uh, dilate size of pupil, which is your eye, uh, the black color part. Dilate means become bigger. Uh, this is this one a bit out of the usual content, uh. Why why suddenly got this one? Because uh, usually emergency if happens in dark places, you need your eyes to see more things, more more light coming in. A very good example will be aeroplane. When you take aeroplane, right? Uh, when aeroplane depart, uh, take off, uh, uh, they will announce to have the window shades to be up. They will off all the lights, right? When you take off, no matter daytime or nighttime. The reason being is because to allow your, uh, your eyes to adjust to dark condition so that your eyes can slowly see more things in the dark. If emergency happens, usually, usually electricity is out, you know, uh, uh, the light is out, so your eyes can be prepared to see more things in the dark. So that, that relates to that, by the way. Okay, pancreas is obviously to control glucose level in your body, sugar level in your body, by converting sugar into glycogen and store in liver. So if you eat too sweet or you have sugar uh, in your body, what happens is insulin will make sure that your glucose, means your sugar, convert into glycogen, extra one, uh, to store in liver. So just in case if next time you need it, it will be in use. Uh, so you store, uh, store uh, glucose, it's called glycogen. It's like extra, la, then you put in your refrigerator, you, you keep, then later you eat or later you use. Okay, right next will be ovary and estrogen and progesterone. So ovary, uh, female two hormone, estrogen and progesterone. So estrogen is to control female secondary sexual characteristics, which is your puberty, how you look like as a girl, yeah. Uh, physical, I would say physically, uh, and also stimulate the production of ovum. Prepare uterus for implantation, uh, prepare for baby. Uh. Progesterone is to control or maintain the thickness of the wall of the uterus for implantation. Okay, and progesterone also helps to control your menstruation. Yeah, uh, for females, every month you have menstruation. That is also part of the job of progesterone. Okay, so plus testis, which is for the male name, is called testosterone. I know all these names are difficult, but you have to spend some time and keep maybe keep reading it or keep writing it down a few times to get your spelling correct. Yeah, okay, that's to control male secondary sexual characteristics. That means how you are as a male, as a boy on the outside or even in the inside, uh, and also puberty. And it's to stimulate sperm production. So male only one, uh, only one hormone. Uh. Okay, this table, honestly not easy. Spend some time, maybe watch the video a few times to get yourself remember. Okay, the next part is, what if too little or too much, what happened? Cannot, no good. Because in human, uh, we always want to strike a balance between things. So you don't want to have too much of this or too little of that. So like, Deficiency means too little. Excessive means too much. Huh? So if you have too little ADH means your kidney not good in absorbing water. Okay, that means you didn't drink enough water. Your kidney is supposed to keep one, you know, but they didn't do all. So that means you have a lot of urine or always go toilet on. Okay, and then uh, thirsty. Huh? always feel thirsty lor, because you always throw away water ma. not enough of water in your body then you will be thirsty you want to drink more water or diabetes insipidus it's a, a disease uh, related to lacking of antidiuretic uh, hormone which is not the normal diabetes that we know uh. this is another kind of disease okay too much uh, of ADH headache uh, dizziness because uh, you keep too much water in your body uh, no good uh. okay next one uh, growth hormone too much uh, uh sorry too little versus too little dwarfism means did not grow enough you become short and small xiao ai ren uh, huai yu wo men jiao xiao ai ren mandarin uh, xiao ai ren dwarfism i'm sure you've seen pictures of some of the real dwarfism people around yeah uh, too much means you become giant acromegaly or gigantism like the huck okay no, nah, that's just movie, but you get what I mean. We have giants uh, 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 around us. Uh, maybe not your friends, but 
you know, in news or in pictures, we see really big people, really giant, gigantism. Um, they can't be alive for too long. There's, there's some problem with it. It's not actually a good thing. They die at early stage because the body too big already for all the organs to support, you know, especially the heart and, you know, the, the lungs and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Tyroxine 2 liter means your engine slower, low metabolism rate. Uh, your engine is slower, you do not burn enough of energy for your body, lor, then you cannot tahan cold. Lor. Inability means cannot, lah, 不能, 不耐冷, lah. 一下子就冷, 一下子就冷的人, right? If you feel, always feel cold uh, easily, uh, inability to tolerate cold. Okay, standard physical and mental development in children, very simple, standard physical and mental development means you don't grow properly in uh, physically and mentally. Less energy in adult, always tired. Oh, I'm very tired today. I'm very tired. Uh, because your engine is lousy. Uh. Okay? Tends to become fat and goiter. Lack of tyroxine. Your neck will swell. Goiter in Mandarin. Dai Gang Bao. Oh, Cantonese. <laughs> Dai Gang Bao. Okay? Yeah, that's a sign where your thyroid gland is not working properly. So uh, that's like a warning to your body. To, to let you know okay uh too much uh, then your engine very fast uh, vroom vroom very fast uh, okay then you always always sweating uh, always feel hot uh, cannot stop always sweating uh, okay uh, and uh you eat a lot uh, uh, good appetite always feel hungry because if your car is very fast means uh, you need to keep pump petrol uh, uh, tendency to become teen uh, people have high metabolism rate usually they are skinny they, they eat a lot you know but cannot grow fat on. Oh, love hate lah. Some people like yeah, you good law. But those people who are having this, they struggle like oh, why I cannot get bigger or in, in proper body mass. Yeah. Thyroid gland enlargement, uh protruding eyeball and swollen neck. Actually very similar to goiter. But this is on the opposite side, lah. Another kind of swelling on the neck. Okay. Alright, cool. That's tyroxine. If you lack of insulin, insulin is like a pengawas, you know, pengawas to control discipline in the school. If you lack of pengawas, that means what? No way. No people control, ah, then go crazy. Like everyone just woo -hoo, do whatever they want. Unable to convert excessive glucose into glycogen means you have extra sugar in the body. You will get diabetes mellitus, which is the normal diabetes that we know. Okay? Yeah. Ah, no pengawas, everyone go crazy. This is a problem crime rate increase when there's no police or something like that okay on the opposite side if you have too many pengawas ah, too many police ah, wah, then ah, no, no freedom ah, like jail like that you everything also cannot your sugar ah, will be converting into glycogen a lot that means no sugar for you to to use it ah, uh, at the moment that means you lack of energy at the meantime hypoglycemia basically means uh, low sugar level like it's the same idea it's the same thing. This is a medical term. And uh, excessive thirst means uh, you get thirsty very easily. Okay. All right. Next will be estrogen for females. Uh, if you have too little secondary sexual characteristics disrupted, uh, means maybe your puberty does not happen properly. Okay. Uh, too much. Uh, this is usually we're talking about men. Uh. So male and female, we both have uh, female and male hormones in the body. For example, I have male and female hormone also. It's just that my male hormone is higher, uh, female hormone is lesser. Okay, uh, But when we say estrogen excessive uh, in girls, okay, uh, no problem. Uh. Okay, uh, not much big issue. Become more girly. Uh. <laughs> not so like men. Uh. But in men, if your estrogen increase means you have female characteristics, eh? means you you slowly <laughs> become like a female, you know, okay. So that refers to men, by the way, not refer to women, okay. Progesterone. Uh, if too little menstruation got problem, as I mentioned, it is also to control menstrual cycle. If progesterone not enough, means your hormone imbalance means uh, your menstruation could be late, could be early, could be not in regular timing, 
yeah. headache constipation miscarriage headache 头痛, uh, constipation 便秘, cannot bangsai uh, properly uh, miscarriage uh, baby will die in the womb okay or liu chan uh, in mandarin okay uh, too much uh, no issue here uh, we're not learning it testosterone okay of course too little uh, delay in puberty no? cannot boy boy cannot become man no? <laughs> slower okay low sperm count yeah low sperm count yep which is uh, a lot of infertility issues uh, means you cannot have baby la, because sperm is not healthy sperm not enough number yeah, so on okay uh if testosterone too much we are referring to women if you refer to men actually nothing bad la. it's just uh, become the heart lo. <laughs> very angry uh, very like a uh, masculine uh, maybe a bit too uh, rough on doing things you know pushing things banging into things uh, dropping things so something like that okay it gives you a bad temper maybe also and also a lot of pimples on your face and your back yeah so uh, we're referring to you we to to women if women testosterone too much means you feel like you want to become a boy lah. you feel like you are a man lah, in a sense huh? okay yeah something like that yeah okay i know this is really not easy to remember all of them it takes some effort go through a few times try to repeat and reading it things are fixed basically yeah you just have to remember what we highlighted today let's try out some work together okay so like very simple uh first thing first it involves labeling make sure you know their names if you can um, please help yourself to label the names on the outside maybe if you want to practice yeah uh, by the way the material is available for you to download in the description box below okay so like first thing first state the gland that is the ah uh, when you see this word then you know already master gland means the tai lo the big boss right okay like big boss name it's called the p Tweetery. Make sure you have the word gland. P tweetery gland. Okay, next one. Name hormone secreted by Q. Uh Q is thyroid, uh, thyroid, uh, hormone, uh, uh, thyroid gland, uh, hormone. Uh. If you don't remember, you refer uh, But for now, uh, we remember it's called thyroxine. Okay, there you go. Easy. State the effect on human if the effect on human wait, huh? okay if the hormone in b1 which is pituitary gland okay hey, wait, wait wait no b1 my bad thyroxine yeah thyroxine okay not adequately secreted means uh lesser lesser or not enough Hormone is thyroxine, by the way. Just to write it down. Okay. Now, if your thyroxine not enough, uh, like copy or you have to remember a uh, copy from the the material or you know from the front part of my video. So low metabolic rate, lack of energy, goiter. Actually, any answers acceptable uh, Lack of thyroxine. Uh, so many you choose. Uh, I choose the shorter answer. Uh, I lazy write the longer one. Oh, uh, can I? Uh, okay. Cool. Next one. Name gland R. Like gland R is this one, uh, the piece of leaf, which is called the pancreas. Okay. State the hormone secreted by R. So pancreas secretes the the pengawas, uh, insulin. There you go. Okay. All right. How can failure of gland R cause a person to have diabetes mellitus? Diabetes mellitus is the is the normal diabetes that we know uh. too much sugar uh, tang niao bing uh, diabetes mellitus okay how can failure of gland r that means uh, why someone gets diabetes first thing first because pengawas not enough no one control the discipline or police not enough no one control the crime and whatnot so less insulin secreted because it is three marks so hence we probably need to explain from top to bottom less insulin secreted see it's just short and simple point number one point number two what happened 
Oh, then uh, the sugar uh, no people control. Not able to convert, 没有得去换去 glycogen. That means uh, this can cause your blood sugar level or blood glucose level to increase. Hence, it causes diabetes when your sugar increase. Never mind, we don't have to write this because it's already here. Yeah, we just have to stop here, then automatically we understand. It connects to diabetes. Okay, cool. There you go. Name hormones secreted by gland S. Okay. Oh. Uh, 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 I, I, I think it's a man now. Oh. <laughs> the, I don't think it's a female now. Oh. Uh, okay, it's the two little BG. So, like. Name of the hormone, by the way. So it's testosterone. So do not mix up name of the hormone and name of the gland. A lot of people can jump, you know, you, you mix up the names. Yeah, all good with this. No problem. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I have one more questions for you to try out on your own. I think uh, they're very straightforward as well. Uh, let, maybe quickly I guide you through, write down the names. This one cannot say don't know one. You don't know people laugh at you one because this is very basic. Okay, I'll make sure you remember the names. Uh, which gland will secrete hormone in danger? Look out for the keyword danger. Check. Yeah, danger is which one? Uh? And then thyroid gland secretes an, uh, a thyroid gland needs a type of nutrient. Thyroid gland needs a type of nutrient. And what is the nutrient? Uh, this one, I think you learned long time ago, la, but not sure if you remember or not. Thyroid gland uh, produced thyroxine. Uh. Uh, the nutrient that is very important for it, I think you learned in form 2. Uh. Uh, it's called iodine, which is a lot of them in seafood. Uh. But you don't write seafood. Uh. I'm just telling you uh, seafood is the item. Uh, is the food that produce or that provides iodine but most importantly is iodine why you need a lot of okay cool um give function of the hormone in m uh, simple you have either one if you want to write anti-diuretic then you write the function if you want to write growth hormone you write the function choose anyone will do lastly Okay, I think you can handle that for yourself. Yeah. All right, cool. That's it. Not as difficult as it seems, right? After you have gone through with me. Well, I guess uh, you have to go through a few times and I think you'll be fine with that. Yeah. So that's it for today's video. I hope I helped somehow to help you remember and also to go through as a revision, right? Uh, I think I'll see you in the next video. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. So consider to subscribe and share to your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.